Hi, my name is Jenny. Today, we'll learn about using vocabulary for describing data. So why is it important to describe data? It's useful because it's a common task at university and you might need this skill later on in your working life. Here's a piece of data. Let's look at this graph about the sales of cars in 2019. What happened to the sales of cars? We can use verbs to help us with this. Can you think of some verbs to describe what happened over the year? Because the line is going up and up and up, you can use verbs like increased, rose, went up, and grew. So even though all these words have the same meaning, you need to think of many ways of describing the same thing so that your writing is interesting. Do you think it's enough to say that there was a rise in sales in 2019? Probably not. It doesn't say much and it makes for a boring description. We can make this more interesting by adding information to this. We could use the help of adjectives. These are describing words to give more information to make our description more interesting. How would you describe the rise in sales? Let's look at how we can use adverbs to describe data. Here, I have a subject and a choice of verbs to describe the data. But what word form can I put after the verb? To describe the action of the verb, what do we need to use? We need to put an adverb here. Let's change these adjectives into adverbs. You probably noticed that they all end in L-Y. When you're composing a sentence, one combination to remember is subject, verb, adverb. There's also another combination that you can use. There was a plus adjective plus noun. You could start your sentence with the phrase there was a and then add an adjective and then add a noun. Can you change some of the verbs that we thought of before into nouns? Now you can combine these words to make a variety of sentences about what happened to the sales of cars in 2019. You now have learned the different ways to describe data. Great job.